Well, we're getting ready for another storm. Um, I don't know if it's going to get as cold. Hopefully not. I don't, I'm not aware of, of any sub-zero temperatures, but luckily I have a lot of wood stocked up. Um, I get my wood from a, from a roof truss company and they give me tons of it for nothing. I just have to haul it. So I have about, I'm not sure. I probably still got about another pickup load at least. Um, plus I have some coal. What I do is I mix coal with wood and you know, because the wood they give me, it's, it's good. You know, it, it's, it's kind of a shame. Some people get upset with me when they see me burning it because some of it is like really good wood. Okay. Here's, here's what it looks like. Okay. But I mean, I've got two by sixes. Sometimes they're three, four feet long and they're just waste. Okay, there's a, there's an example. This one's kind of just a normal size one, but that's a two by six. And they just give me tons of this stuff. I collect it in the summer and then I don't have to pay for no heat. You know, other than the gas that it takes to go get the wood. And the work, of course, of stacking it. I have it stacked outside under a tarp. And yeah, some of it got wet, but I dry, I bring it in, I, I dry it out. I had it piled up, but my pile tipped over. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I just love wood burning stoves. This is a contraption that I came up with. I didn't want to use a lot of, a lot of floor space. I've only got 26 feet. Um, so I try to make use of every inch that I have. And what I did was I just, I said, well, you know, I never saw a wood burner hang from the, from the ceiling, but I've seen gas stoves hang from the ceiling. And I says, well, there should be no different really. Um, it just hangs by chains and, um, Yesterday, it was 100 degrees in here. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I like to stock it pretty good before I go to bed. And I put some coal in there. It'll burn all night long. You know, most of the time I get up, it's, it's still decent. You know, if I put coal in there. If I don't put coal in there, the fire goes out and it gets really cold. Yeah, some I woke up and... You could see my breath. I could see my breath in here, but <laughs> uh, I don't have that happen too much now. I insulated it. I went over all the windows. It had a million windows in it. I bought this camper for eleven hundred dollars, and it was partially gutted. I took the sinks out in the kitchen, and these, this is, as you can see, there's all kinds of shit piled on it. But I got tools under here. Tires stacked in the corner. I got a deep freeze. I got a full-size tub and a shower. I just took a bath yesterday and it was great. What I had to do was I had to cut out. Okay, here's the table. This was this was factory, but I took the benches out and I put I found this. I bought this over at a secondhand store. It came out of a restaurant. It's kind of like a couch, I guess you could say. I paid like three bucks for it. And it was in really good shape when I bought it. It still is pretty good. But yeah, anyway, so I put the tub underneath. And it runs through this wall. And then on the other side, if, if I, to, take a, to take a bath, I just take this off. See, this is my cover. <sighs> Take that off, then you crawl in there. Your feet go through there, and then on the other side is, is the shower. Okay, it's kind of dark here. I'll turn the light on. 
So, so it's got a shower. I, right now it's, there you go. Anyway, so it's got a shower. I put a, a regular flushing toilet. Has a real toilet now. You got to remember, this is a camper. But I went over all the outside walls with insulation. That made a huge difference. It's very well sealed. Um, in fact, you don't want to seal it too much, especially with a wood burner. But I left all around the door. You can see daylight. And I will never seal that up. That'll be open and that helps feed feed the wood burner because you got to remember they need oxygen they can burn up all the oxygen in a room so you gotta you gotta know a little bit about safety you know what i'm saying you gotta have adequate uh, ventilation but i'm not a genius but i have lived i used to uh plant trees for a living when i was real young we lived in tents in the mountains. So I know a little bit about heating with wood. Um, it's actually, I prefer it. I just, I don't know. I've always liked fireplaces and that. But, um, yeah, this, this is really the ultimate man cave. I did the floor with truck bed liner it needs to be cleaned i just cleaned it but it's real muddy right now it's hard to keep it clean but uh you can spill battery acid on it and it's not going to hurt the floor you know but i use it and there's my bedroom and you know i it's got all the comforts of home really um i moved all the water pipes off of the floor they run up high now so that they don't freeze so easy okay if it gets cold here and I'm not around let's say I don't know if, you, if there's enough light here right now but I moved all my there we go oh I got all 12 volt lights I do got a couple AC ones, too, that I put in as backup. But here's my water pipes. They run up high, like I said. It's kind of dark in here. I can't get very good light. Here, there you go. So that's, they come in down there. And it's got a, I've got a solar panel. That's my solar wiring and I've just got a little 120 you gotta remember I'm I'm living in a RV park and so I'm pretty much self-contained but this is the what main water coming in it splits off up here goes through this closet and it comes out up here you see there's like I said there's Nothing on the floor except the one going to the toilet. And that did freeze up. But I was able to thaw it out pretty quick. I just put a heater down there. A little a little one. One it right there. Just a little heater. It doesn't use much juice. It's just enough to thaw it out. But anyway, other than that, you know, it's pretty easy place to you know it's the ultimate man cave honestly let's see what the temperature is it's 71 in here right now but i don't really have the the fire going very good right now but it will maintain 70 degrees pretty pretty easily not not tough at all so anyway so this is what living in a man cave. And the reason I did this, this was before the pandemic. I went, well, my roommate said I went over five years without a day off. 
I didn't keep track, but, and I like to go camping. And so I never got a day off. So I decided to move into a camper and now I camp every day. <laughs> um, but you know, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do it. I enjoy, you know, it's to me, it's just like a house, but it's not too tough to maintain, but, um, <clears throat> 